RC from the Montauk Joiner Shop here. It's been almost six months since I started a YouTube channel for woodworkers. Here are two interesting things I've learned from that experience. When I decided to start a YouTube channel, part of the motivation for doing so is to get some passive income going. You see, I'd been working on a very ambitious speculative piece for six or seven months at the time, and while that piece is very important to me for a number of reasons, the fact is it's a speculative piece, and that means I don't have a customer for it, which is a nice way of saying I'm losing my ass on this thing. So with empty coffers, I started a YouTube channel with some cheap lighting and a cell phone, and right away I discovered how woefully inadequate that is, especially when coupled with my lack of experience. Many of you have noticed the trouble I was having in my early videos with sound quality in particular. So I bought a new cell phone. And when that didn't help, I bought a mirrorless DSLR camera. And while that helped on the recording end of things, I was still having trouble on the editing side of things. So I needed to change the editing software I was using. When my cheap laptop proved wholly incapable of running the new software, I had to buy a new computer. And while that new computer theoretically met the minimum requirements for the new software, it sure didn't work very well in practice. So I had to upgrade the computer that I just bought. So by the time my nascent YouTube channel had made a single penny, I had spent thousands of dollars I didn't have on equipment I naively thought I wouldn't need in order to bring content to you that met my own standards. As of the making of this video, I'm making just over a dollar per day. To quote Rooster Cogburn in the movie True Grit, that didn't pan out. If my channel continues to grow, I may catch up to what I have invested someday, but it's a very distant possibility. Of course, I'm not only in it for the money. When I was new to the craft myself, I learned a ton from books, magazines, DVDs, and yes, YouTube. Along the way, I figured things out on my own that I could pay it forward with. At the moment, it still feels like a privilege to be able to do that. It's also another creative outlet for me, and I can never have enough of those. I end almost every video with the same request. And if you didn't like what you saw here, keep it to yourself, pal. And for the most part, people have honored that request. With the notable exception of one guy telling me it was actually my fault my house almost burned down in a historically unprecedented wildfire, the feedback has been really encouraging. Encouragement is nice. And it's not nice because it feeds the ego, although that probably does help. It's nice because it indicates to me that all the time and expense put into this endeavor is actually doing somebody, somewhere, some good. I mean, if it isn't, what am I even doing here? Encouragement is nice for another reason as well. Most people don't realize this, but a lot of us YouTubers are actually quite introverted. I actually don't like people. Okay, well, let me rephrase that a little. I don't like being in crowds of people so much. I'm most at equilibrium when alone in the wilderness or my shop or my garden, those kinds of places. Put me in a huge checkout line at Costco, eh, not so much. But I can kind of trick my brain into talking to a crowd of people by talking to the inanimate object that is my camera. That's how I can do this. That said, in offering their encouragement, people often unintentionally spill over into telling me how insignificant and or uninformed I am by indirectly comparing me to the woodworking greats of the world. Paul Sellers cross-cuts all his stock to rough length using shark teeth. The Wood Whisperer sends everything to 5,000 grit. Why don't you? You know, Rob Cosman really knows how to sharpen too. He does this thing I can't really explain. Try it. Try it despite the fact you just did a whole video in which you make it clear you're perfectly happy in getting the results you want doing it the way you are currently. I saw a video Paul Sellers did where he built a router plane using a block of wood, an old chisel, and a paper clip. It was really interesting. Rob Cosman only wears organic free-range merino wool underwear. Did I mention Rob Cosman is my hero? Rob Cosman is the Rob Cosman. Rob Cosman. I must admit I'm at a bit of a loss for how to respond to these comments except to say, thanks. Then there's the you shoulds. For years I've read the excellent blogs put out by Lost Art Press and before each comment section it would often say, never start a comment with you should. I totally get that now. You should buy an old Gothic church and restore all the woodwork in there. I'd watch that. You should do a video on how to make a composting toilet and you should do it entirely out of Cuban mahogany. You should buy a CNC and make cutting boards with it shaped like all the Disney characters, yeah? You should shape that table leg with a piece of Roman cement lubricated with whale oil. It works really well. True story. Then there's the more bossy variation of the you should, which we'll call the do a video. Do a video on the use of Euclidean geometry in building spiral staircases that demonstrates its superiority to the standardized double helix method espoused by the misguided craft guilds of the pre-Austro-Hungarian Empire. Do that next. Thanks for all those wonderful suggestions, folks. I'll get right on that. All this sounds a lot like I'm complaining, and I am, a little bit. 
I find summoners complaining to be rather cathartic from time to time. But I didn't make this video just to complain or to announce that I'm quitting or anything like that. This is just another way for me to be creative, have a little bit of fun, and share some things I've learned along the way. As long as this YouTube thing continues to be that for me, I'll probably keep doing it, regardless of whether it's a good business decision or not. I mean, if I had a good business sense, I probably wouldn't be a studio furniture maker in the first place, let alone a YouTuber. Of course, I'd be remiss if I didn't thank you for indulging me as I learned the ropes of videography. You guys really are all right, most of you. And I'm learning stuff every day about how to make better videos. I hope to have your continued support in the future, wherever that leads, and we'll see you next time. Now, if you like what you saw here, please hit like and subscribe, it would help me out a lot. Also hit the little bell icon if you want to be notified anytime I release a new video. And if you didn't like what you saw here, keep it to yourself, pal. Or watch one of my other videos, you might like one of those. Thank you for watching.